Well, we're here this week, uh, led by His Excellency, the Vice President Hashim Chetima, um, leading the Nigerian delegation to this all-important uh, dialogue. We have made it a point to be part of the conversation, to be in the room all around the world this year, from the Paris uh, Financing Summit all the way through to, of course, ONGA and COP28, not forgetting the World Bank annual meetings. Davos is an important uh, uh, dialogue uh, um, that takes place every year. 50 heads of state, several hundred uh, ministers, of course, about a thousand companies, and um, they're here to talk about the global challenges, security, cooperation, um, growth, jobs. And I think the important topics of the day now are climate change and um, more and more generative AI or artificial intelligence in particular. And it's important that we as Nigerians are here. Uh, we are the largest country in Africa. We do have um, an important role to play. And so we're here to make our voices heard and to also um, tell our own story, our own story of progress, our own story of uh, uh, making Nigeria an investment destination. But I think in all, it's a whole package of reforms. It's not one ad hoc message or one ad hoc measure here and there. It's a whole package of reforms, of course, set off, ignited and, and, and um, launched by Mr. President's um, uh, historic uh, measures he made once he came into office. As we know, he remo removes subsidy. He reformed the exchange rate market and that laid the basis of several other reforms that, that have taken place since uh, um, there's an attempt to increase revenue, reduce debt, reduce debt service, uh, increase capital expenditure, and as you know, reduce the cost of governance. And um, I think it's important also to say that we know that the measures taken since May 29 have, requ have required patience, have caused pain, have caused um, the usual adjustment uh, uh, um, difficulties and that has meant a rise in the cost of living for the average Nigerian. But I think Mr. President has also showed empathy. He has intervened on behalf of the poorest, on behalf of farmers and in addition to showing to putting in place the right policies, difficult as they may be, he has also shown empathy. He has looked to uh, support the poorest and the weakest and most vulnerable and Importantly, he is now beginning to show the extent to which he is willing to lead by example. He has cut the cost of his own trips, the cost of governance, uh, um, by 60% in terms of his own entourage. And I think that's an important signaling which will be built on.